Welcome Thundercat fans to another Third Earth Reviews toy review and today I will be reviewing the Thundercat Heroes, the Burbles. The Burbles were released in series 2 and 3 of the LGN Thundercats toy line in 1986 and in 1987 in the companion subline. These companion characters were smaller than the normal Thundercat figures and their card backs had a mountain themed background instead of the plain black. While the Burbles are a pretty good representation of their original cartoon counterparts, there are a few differences. For the LGN Thundercats toy line, each of the Burbles are called Burble Bill, Burble Bell, and Burble Bert, instead of Robert Bill, Robert Bell, and Robert Bert, as they were called in the original cartoon. In addition, while Burble Bill and Burble Bell are very cartoon accurate, Burble Bert's colors are reversed from his original appearance. In the Thundercats Ho, the movie, Robert Bert, has gray metal and blue fur, while his toys has blue metal and gray fur. Although these figures have nice sculpted details for their fur and good paint decos, a common problem with these figures is that their paint tends to wear off, especially on their noses and for Bill's silver paint. The Burbles have similar articulation as most of the Thundercat companions. Their heads can turn left and right, and their arms can move up and down. The figures do not have any movement in their legs. The Burbles do not have a battlematic action, as none of the companion subline figures has this feature. Similar to other figures in the companion subline, they are smaller than most of the other Thundercats. Standing next to Lionel, they only come up to about his waist. Nevertheless, given the size of the characters in the cartoon, this works really well. The Burbles did not come with any accessories. In the Series 2 mini catalog, each of the Burbles had a different brown paint deco. This was later corrected in the Series 3 mini catalog to be more toy accurate. There are some variations of coloring for Burbear Bill's feet and knees. Some of the figures have a cream color, while others have a yellow or pink coloring. In addition, although I'm not sure if this is a variation or not, some of the Burble Bill's eyes are a blue color, while some are a very dark blue, almost black color. Burble Bert has a variation of color for the fruit in his basket. There is an orange fruit and a yellow fruit version. Burble Bell has a slight variation for her knee color. There's a version of a cream color knee, and one that is yellow so it looks almost unpainted. There doesn't seem to be any order or reason behind these variations, so it could just be a difference in the batch or the factory that these figures were produced. It also doesn't seem like it affects their value or rarity of the figure. If you have any information on these variations, or if I happen to miss one, please let me know in the comments below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. In my next Vintage Thundercat review, I'll be taking a look at the Thundercats villain, Safari Joe. So, until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.